If you look at this image, yes, you see this image here. This is probably one of the most iconic images of London, particularly if you're traveling around on the subway, as you call it, I think around the world, we call it the tube or the London tube, or sometimes nothing at all because they're permanently on strike, you know, that's the problem. You do kind of laugh when you go in, I don't know if you've been into the London tube, but they have these little boxes and, um, you know, they just sit in there, never help you, you know, just sit there looking at their phones, playing bingo lingo or whatever all day, but this is the problem. Now, one of the bigger issues, and this is what's really kicked back on this particular image is this, as you can see, the renamed Bond Street for a limited period, Burberry Street, because money talks. Let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you. We'll have a wave today. You all right? Thank you so much for joining me as ever. Lovely to see you. Yeah, I don't know about you. What price is marketing? This is the world we live in. Over here in London, you know, we have those iconic red buses. You wouldn't know it because many of their shells now are covered head to toe in advertising, whether it be bananas or the latest Marvel film. You don't know if it's a bus or a tank. You've got no idea when you're standing at the bus stop. And given the fact that the drivers can't even be fagged to look at you when you climb on, it's very difficult to work out where you're going, as you can imagine. But this was headed by the Lord Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. He sold out. And this is because they're trying to apparently get money in to London for transport for London. They're running at a loss. If you looked at his security and of course the fact that he never uses the tube, he's too busy with his own security team and his four by four, does it matter to him? And get this, and I don't know, I'm sharing all of this with you because I find it fascinating, that London Underground recently promoted a brand new pamphlet telling you how close the tubes are to each other and how it might be quicker to walk. Figure this out, you see, you want money in the till, but don't bother getting the ticket, just, you know, walk. How thick are these people? You just couldn't make this up, could you? But now this has got a backlash against the uh, very esteemed, very expensive Burberry brand. Don't know about you, I'm not a fan of that particular look. Burberry is very nice, or it was on trend a few years back, but that's how desperate they are now to get foreign people, foreign visitors to go in and buy their brand. And very easily, um, you know, the short-sighted mayor decided to bend over quite quickly and say, oh yes, we'll brand all of Bond Street for you at a price. Now, a lot of people didn't know where they were when they pulled into Burberry Street. You know, if, you're not, if you don't know that area, you think, well, where's this? I won't get off. Caused a lot of confusion. Do, of course, the people out in London care? Absolutely not. What I'd love to know, though, is does this happen in your part of the world? Do they sell you out without your knowledge, even though you're paying your taxes and your very expensive fares to run these particular operations? All the meanwhile, the shareholders and the people at the top come out of it incredibly well, while you, once again, are left out of pocket. And if you can or are lucky enough to get on a train, a tube or a bus, if they're not on strike, you consider that to be a great day. Do let me know about this story and your part of the world in the comments below. And I don't often ask this, but like and share. Let's see how it works everywhere else. Neil Sean, Kensington, London.